What other wildcard characters do we have available? Well, there's the question mark, which is a little bit different to the asterisk. It doesn't match any bunch of characters. It matches any one character, and exactly one character. An example would be C question mark T. C question mark T means match, for example, C A T, C I T, C underscore T, C 3 T, C C T, and so on. Fred dot question mark question mark question mark question mark means match any file name that is the word Fred followed by a full stop followed by exactly four characters and any four characters. And the third example there, four question marks followed by an X followed by a question mark means match any six letter file name where an X is the second last character. The other characters can be anything you like. I won't show you any examples of those because they're fairly straightforward. Experiment with those yourself if you like. Finally there's the square brackets. Square brackets mean match any single character that appears within the brackets and it's a single character. Everything in inside the brackets is interpreted as matching a single character. Let me show you some examples. C and then in brackets AOU close brackets T. Now that matches any three letter file name. If they exist, they may not exist, but if there was a file name CAT, that would that would match. If there was a file called COT, that would match. And CUT would also match, and nothing else would match. Note that it would not match CAUT or CAOUT. It has to be a single letter, one of the three letters inside the brackets. Now, the second example, brackets A-Z, and then capital A-Z, star.txt. That basically means match any file that ends in a .txt that begins with a letter. In other words, you can't have files that begin with a number or files that begin with some punctuation character or something. Let's see a brief example of that. Here I am in the course uh, directory again. Now I'll just do an ls. Those are the files. Now if I did an ls of a to Z star, that means match basically any file name that begins with A to Z. And of course it goes and matches my subdir1. So, but notice that it has not matched second dash bin file because that began with a 2, which is not one of the A to Z letters. So that didn't get listed. Or I could say ls A dash z star and then a dash z that means match any file or directory that begins with a letter and ends with a letter and there's only four of those because subdir1 ends with a 1. You getting the idea? There is a special case the third example on the end there is the exclamation mark d. Now exclamation mark means not D. So what the, how you read that is you say I want to match any file in this particular example match any file that does not begin with a D. So only D's are excluded and it'll list everything else. Let me show you. I'll do an LS again. Six things. Now I'll do an LS of not S star. So anything that does not begin with an S. When I press enter I get, well, those four files. I don't get sample.html and I don't get subdir1 because they begin with an S, of course. Now, I want you to understand that I have been using ls as an example here. But the techniques I've shown you and the wildcards I've shown you will work with absolutely any program. We're going to see another 50 or so programs throughout the remainder of this course. And these wildcard techniques will work with every single one of them. Well, every single one of them that uses files and file names, that is. This is a technique for expanding or matching file names. For example, at some stage we're going to learn about the text editor called Vi. And all these wildcard characters will be used when we start Vi on the shell command line. We can start it using wildcard characters. We might, for example, say Vi space star.txt 
if we want to edit all the .txt files in the current directory. That's just an example. I just don't want you to think that these wildcard characters are just somehow tied to ls and ls only. Now here's a little quiz for you. What does the following match? This is a real example this might look very contrived, but I actually found myself doing this quite a lot in my programming career. What does that do? You might want to pause the video at this point and write it down or type it into your shell and see if you can figure out what it does. I'll just give you a few seconds to do that. Did you figure it out? Well, let's start at the end. It, ends, this, the, it will match file names that end in a full stop followed by a single character which is either C or an H. So it's all files that end in .c or all files that end in .h. What about the beginning? Hmm. Well it can start with any character at all but the second character must not be a dot. And that's pretty much it. So, so it's all files that either end in a .c or end in a .h where the second character is not a full stop.